up, guys? Trevor Roskowski. I hope you're having a great day so far. I know I am. I'm about to make the hour and 15 minute drive to go pick up the Travis Scott Jordan One Lows. Um, if you are, if you did tune into my live stream last night, you guys convinced me. Send it. Just do it. Are we just doing it, bro? Are we just gonna send it? Size 13. You convinced me to buy a pair of Lowe's. We're gonna go to the bank right now. We need to get $1,075 out for them. We will be holding a raffle for this shoe. Just keep that in mind, but we're gonna get a full review on there. Um, before we get too far in the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. You know the deal, all my social medias are down below. Follow it up. I'm gonna bring you guys along. First off though, we're gonna get a fit check real quick. It's nice and easy. Let's go ahead and get that fit check. So like I said, guys, nothing crazy. We got a common hype shirt on, just some white shorts, and we have undefeated dunks. Ignore all my boxes, but I do store all my boxes back there if I ever need to reuse use them but that's what we're rocking today we got about, like i said about an hour 15 minute drive so let's get started um i'm not looking forward to the drive but it'll still be a very fun video so stick around till the end so you can see these shoes all right guys we just rolled up waiting for this guy to get here he said he's about 10 minutes late uh they are checking passes i was trying to pull in the lot that he wanted to meet at we are on purdue campus so if you go to purdue what's up uh but we are on purdue campus and they are it seems like they're pretty strict about parking so i'm on the side of the road somewhere so i don't know how well uh this will go if the security guard not security but the parking guy rolls up to me i'm just gonna drive off and say sorry i was trying to find where i'm at but hopefully it doesn't take too much longer hopefully no parking passes it shouldn't take us long but of course i need to check them I'm, I'm about to spend a thousand some dollars on a pair of shoes so it's not going to be like a two second thing i'm going to go through them all and look at them review them as as you should when it comes to buying some of these if you're going to be buying some of these high-end pairs or any pair in general make sure you check it check everything on the box and make sure it checks out all right, guys, look what we got. We did successfully grab these. Sorry I didn't get to record the whole interaction at all. I was legit checking, making sure everything looked good in these. It was a packed parking lot. People were pulling in and out. So I tried to do what I could, but I had to pull up and around the guy, and I couldn't even get a camera angle for it. And I wanted to check him. I checked his sneakers accounts, double-checked the addresses, checked the order numbers, all of that. Seemed like a cool dude. He did, and he only had a couple purchases. He said, I said, what, did you get exclusive access on these? Like, how'd you get these? He said, exclusive access somehow. And I looked at his purchase. He didn't have that very good of purchases. I was like, oh, my gosh. I'm so jealous. He's like, yeah, man. I was so surprised. He was like, man, I wish I got the other size of some for him. I was like, oh, I know. I'm giving you over StockX right now. Anyways, he said, I know, I know. I was just messing with him, giving him a hard time. And yeah, he went to Purdue, like I said. He actually went to a similar major as me, so that's pretty cool. But enough talking, enough ramble. Let's get into the shoe, man. So as you can see, he's got the beautiful box all the way around. It says Fragment Design. I'm sure you've seen these. Cactus Jack, Nike, Air Jordan, all that. We got that size 13. Tags looking nice and crispy, looking good. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pull this out of the sleeve here. It does make it harder to do because it does reflect real bad uh, with the sleeve going on. But let's go ahead and pull it out of here and look at these shoes. So we got the sleeve off. We did move the camera down a little bit and you got the beautiful, beautiful looking or pink paper here. I'm trying so hard not to crease it, but you guys do know when they have these nice papers, it's easy to do. You just gotta be very careful, especially when you're putting it back in. If you're taking it in and out, especially if you're doing a review and whatnot, but oh, Oh my gosh, look at that beautiful, beautiful pair of shoes, boys and girls. And there they are. Let it focus a little bit, let it focus a little bit. There it is. Um, as you can see, the Travis Scott Fragment Jordan 1 Lowe's. I'm no, I know you guys have already seen these everywhere. Um, I've seen these, I've held these, I've seen the Jordan 1 Highs as well in hand because I've been to SneakerCon, but man, having your own personal, it's not my personal pair, but having an own pair in your hand where you can just touch them and don't feel weird about touching them because it's someone else's pair. Um, it's amazing to go over the review. Like I said, these come with three laces. We we got black, we got pink, we got blue, and we got cream. Let me know down below what are you lacing with. If I'm rocking these, you're gonna be seeing me with black laces. You know how I am. Give me that neutral, either black or cream. I think black would actually make the shoe look pretty good all the way around. Um, I, I, that's just my style. The cream does go perfect with the uh, swoosh and the outer or the midsole here because that's just how it is. Cream laces would go super, super well. The default ones that do come on them, just because of the, it does match the cream midsole very, very well on this pair of shoes. But like I said, I'd definitely be going for black. Like I said, it's a size 13. All the way around the shoe man you got the classic reverse swoosh because it's the whole travis scott that's his like signature that's his thing um you come all the way to back here and you can see the beautiful beautiful leather as you can tell this is super high quality very nice i love the inside here too we got cactus jack right here on the back which is really really cool with his symbol and emblem all the way around here and you can see the little leather lettering here exactly what it says all the little details all the way around to the front here um and you can see in the side you can see uh, it's hard to pick up on this camera but it does say cactus jack you'd be able to see it um, if you had a light on it and then you got this this soft kind of like a softer leather but these will crease man i have to say one thing i don't like about the shoe this is one of my only complaints and probably my only complaints i understand it's a shoe i get that guys but these are going to crease like crazy because of the 
material that is on the front here the the material on the toe box um you're gonna wear these a couple times they're gonna be creasing up but that you know that's point of it that's part of it you're wearing the shoe if you're gonna actually pull them out and make them undead stock it doesn't matter you're you're expecting to do that um if i was to wear these i'd be using the sole protector I know there's plenty of sole protectors out there on the market. I don't personally use any of them, if you want me to be honest with you. I just don't use any of them because it's just, I don't, it's just not my thing. Um, you know, if I'm going to wear them, I'm going to wear them. Now, I would in this case, though. I say, I'm sitting here saying I wouldn't do it, but in the case of like wearing a Travis Scott, especially if it was a high, and even the lows, because, you know, these are a thousand some dollar shoes. Um, so preserve this shoe. Preserve the shoe. It'll hold up value over time. You can keep the bottoms nice and icy, and when you pull it off, it does look pretty good. Now, of course, it's not going to stop the creasing. You may want to do a crease guard in there. I personally don't use crease guards either because I feel like it makes my shoes uncomfortable. Um, all the way around, I think some of my favorite things is just the coloring. Uh, the cream does throw me a little bit off on the tongue overall the inside of the shoe does look insane too looks a little bit more basic if it wasn't for the outside of it it just wouldn't be anything crazy but that's the point it's supposed to be completely different flip-flops symbols or flip-flop swooshes and it's just a cool shoe let me know down in the comments below if you have this pair do you have a pair of the jordan one lows the fragment jordan one lows from travis scott that came out this year not that long ago you got the tongue tag as you can see here we got the air jordan symbol um with the nike air right there and then as you can see it's hard it's gonna be hard to see but on the inside he has got the nike air on the bottom i was gonna try to show you the size tag but it's 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 kind of hard to do so especially on a camera and trying to see the size tag isn't the easiest thing to do anyways on the back we do have cactus jack on this one or on this one like we just did and then we have air jordan on the other one here on this one here um and it says fragment here it's really cool to compare them side by side i do like when i do small things like this this makes them look more unique you know you got a little bit of difference we got the cactus jack we got fragment of course that's the collab but man i'm, I'm almost speechless seen them in hand like I've, I've had multiple of these i haven't had multiple I've, I've seen multiple of these in hands just like i said when you finally get them like just just actually get to actually just look at them and admire the way they do look you're like man i really like these it's a good thing i didn't get a size 10 because let me tell you it'd be super super tempting to throw it on the toe and i just can't do that i can't undead stock a pair of these i uh if i was gonna go ahead and spend money like this i'd go ahead and save up a little bit more and get an off-white for or uh, off-white jordan for sale to be honest with you as you guys know that is my grail but we did it man be watching these are gonna be going up for raffle on kick llc it will be linked down below or i'm gonna put it up on the screen somewhere or just follow my main instagram which you can find down below as well and I'll keep you guys up to date on what's going on with the raffle list for these. But like I said, we pulled this from Late Night Steals. I did include that clip earlier in the video of where you guys told me to send it and get these. So I did legit check them. The guy was really nice. Um, it was a super, super easy thing. Like I said, I thought he was an older gentleman, but he was a younger kid in school. And he actually just, he was like my age. He was, he was a little bit younger than I was going through like the same thing. Like I said, so everything looked at, looked good. Everything checked out. Very happy. It's always sketchy when you go to buy these big ticket items. And one thing I do have to say when you go to buy these big ticket items, be careful. Double check. Make sure everything good, looks good. Check the sneakers accounts. Be using check check if you need to. I know it takes a few minutes to do check check, but it's a very good thing. It's a very good idea to do so. You're going to be, if you're sketched, if you don't think they're real, just be checking them. I double checked everything. Everything checked out. It's looking good to go. Once again, let me know what kind of lace you would do. I'd probably roll, I'll probably be rock, rocking black laces with these, but if I would be wearing new neutral colorways i know i'm not gonna be doing outfits with this because i'm not throwing them on but i know last time you guys liked me um kind of showing you what i would do with this so i'm gonna go ahead and pull up some outfit ideas i'm just gonna bring some shirts out and some shorts i'm not gonna be wearing them of course um but i'm just gonna kind of show you on camera right now starting off we just have the travis scott fragment tee super easy super plain we go with these so well it, uh, that's what it's made for let's be honest that would be my first choice when it comes to wearing this sneaker and the next would just be a Supreme tee, kind of similar, just black and white, same black pants. Nothing crazy. Didn't go through a lot of outfits, but this would be super, super simple idea and it look great. So guys, there are a few ideas. I know I did two outfits, but I just want to show it. I would have done more if I was actually wearing the shoe, but I just want to show you a few things I would wear with. Of course, the Travis Scott shirt and just another a white plain t-shirt. It's not that hard. It can go with a lot of things, and that's why I do like these. You can really rock them, and they're really going to stick out. You're going to get a lot of attention if you're wearing these. I know I know. if I saw these in public, I'd be like, oh my gosh. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed me going and pick these up. I wish I could have done, done a little bit more of the interaction. It was just a busy time. I hope you guys do understand that. Let me know if you did like this style of video. Let me know down in the comments if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel guys let's blow it up let's do just as good as the last video that we put out when, when we're reviewing the five on it dunks 
Let's try to get 50, 60 likes. I know you guys can do it. Let me know. My overall opinion of these, I'm going to give these a 9.5 out of 10. Blue is my favorite color. It's really going crazy. Blue and white. I like them a lot better. I, the, the hype really grew on me, I think. So I think that's why I like them so much. But man, I still can't get myself to wear a pair. But like I said, 9.5 out of 10. Let me know your rating down below. That is it for me, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to follow my social medias are down below. My Instagram is right here. I'll respond to all your DMs. You want to kick notify. Um, we're going to help you with all restocks, everything you need to know, botting help, one-on-one -on -one help, anything you need. We got you. There's some, there's some copies loaded down for that as well. And that is it for me, guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.